Very nice. Very nice. I think we've got it. Thank you, Lily. Thank you. See you tonight, boys. Yeah. All right, gang. Take five. Hi, Maestro. Well, Maestro, how many numbers you want from us? One. Right. One number, one encore. No, one number, no encores. Rehearsal in 15 minutes. Don't go away. Be right back. I see the expression on the maestro's face. There you get a light. Hi. See you later. Hi. Hi. Have you recovered from your babysitting? Now, don't go running old Tiger now. He did me a big favor. Oh? If I'd been for him, I might have never seen you again. I'll let you in on a little secret. I would have given you one day to call me. Maybe even two. Then on the third day, I would have called you. Hey, Tulsa. Excuse me. Look, boy, the roof's caved in. Captain Hobart's on his way over here. He'll want to talk to you. What about? You're asking me what about who won the bet for us. He did stay in your apartment till morning, didn't he? N no offense, ma'am. There was no bet. We called it off. Then how come everybody got paid? I gotta find Cookie. Maybe he'll have an angle. Look, I know what you're thinking, but that's not how it was. Naturally. The whole matter concerned two other people. No, it was us. You tell me about it some other I'll time. I'll tell you about it now. Very well, soldier. Tell me. How much did you win? Going up to your apartment last night had nothing to do with any bet. There was no need to borrow a baby to get into my apartment. Really? You underestimate your attraction. Special McLean? Yes. You have an appointment with Captain Hobart. First, I gotta see a pal. Follow me. Wait in here. Excuse me, Miss Lily. Captain Hobart would like to talk to you before you leave. Oh, thank you. Two babies could not look so much alike. You are the one. Oh, you are Lily. Oh, uh, yes. I'm the baby's mother. Oh. It was good of you to help, Tulsa. Men are so helpless. They are more babies than the babies. You mean he was your babysitter? I'm Zeus's baby. And I'm Peter's baby. <laughs> You're telling me. Miss Lily. Miss Lily. Yes. I believe the army owes you an apology. Now I must tell you that your rendezvous with this young man had a mercenary motive. There was a bet on it. A bet that McLean here could spend the night with you alone. I'm afraid that wasn't the case, Captain. We were extremely well chaperoned. You see, Tulsa and I were babysitting. Oh, that's right, Captain. For Marla and me. The babysitting. Well, I certainly can't transfer a man for that. Well, I wish I had known before that you went in for this kind of work. Mrs. Hobart and I have a date for bridge tomorrow evening. How are you with twins? Uh, twice as helpful, sir. Oh. Here you go, Tiger. Back to your papa. I got uh, work to do. Captain? Captain. Really? Well, this isn't the time, and it's certainly not the place. Well, of course I'll marry you. I love you. We can get hitched? Mm -hmm. uh, even this afternoon, huh? Mm -hmm. If I get the seal's permission. Oh, maybe. And maybe tonight after the show, you'll win the bet. <laughs> Get one of them days yeah. when nothing is right from morning to night. You ever get one of them days, boy? You ever get one of them days? Yeah. Day, 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 day. You get up in the morning, the time.
turn the shower on. Yeah. You get the pneumonia, the hot, hot water is gone. Freeze and sneeze and you want to dry your back. Well, you ever get one of them days when there's no towel on the rack? Yeah. She hollers, whoa. whoa, you ever get one of them girls who just wants to watch the show? Yeah. Starts to pour, oh! you run through pores and I have a scratch until you are sore. Hands come dancing, carry off the bread. Oh, you ever get one of them days when you should have stayed in bed? Yeah! Did you have her? 